alignment, beautiful, clarity, delicious, easy, frequency, gentle, happy, illuminate, joy, knowing, love, magic, nourish, opportunity, peace, quality, relax, soothing, trust, visualize, worthy, yes. If the paintings can radiate good feelings to the viewer and enhance or inspire their environments, I feel my presence as an artist is done. I am an instrument to create images that come from an inspired channel and nature is a tool that enhances the imagination. If the paintings act as catalysts to encourage new ideas, positive and peaceful messages that inspire, then I am on the right path. I visit the Japanese garden in Monaco as it's a little oasis of peace and quiet. Monaco is fairly small in size but has a powerful backdrop of the upper Corniche, which is a high mountain range. This mountain area provides shelter to the coast, which invites a warm microclimate. It rarely snows and rain does not last long. This allows a really abundant landscape for unusual flowers and trees. Wide open skies with bright blue seas dominate the scenery, making everything else small in comparison. All along the Côte d'Azur, nature is the primary aspect. The towns are dictated by the landscape nestling in harbours under the shelter of the mountains, but some have gradually worked their way up the mountains, such as the little town of Ayres. Ayres has a beautiful and inspiring views that I try to capture in the paintings. Not just the trees in the Japanese garden, but most, if not all, the trees in Monte Carlo are protected and identified with a numbered necklace. I find this fascinating and it has inspired a whole range of paintings in the shape of trees. For me, the trees all have personalities and thrive with source energy that is timeless and descriptionless. I love coming home to my studio that has a small garden with a lemon tree, lavender and geranium. Sometimes I think all I need is a garden, lavender oil and the freedom to paint and I'm quite content. My home and studio overlooks Monte Carlo and the sea beyond. I find Monaco an inspiring place to live. Most days all I can see is the blue sea with a few little white yachts from the Monaco Yacht Club, practicing their sailing skills around the bay. Recently I was introduced to the world of therapeutic essential oils to apply to my paintings. I hesitated as the smell would evaporate, however, I realized it was about the experienced whilst using the oils. 
Essential oils can be applied topically or diffused with water, where they can breathe, migrate and gently adapt into the atmosphere and our bodies. Every day I diffuse the oils at home in a simple to use aroma diffuser. This provides a fragrance mist of the chosen oil. It's a gentle and convenient method to introduce a subtle natural smell. This encourages meditation and relaxation. Some of the oils work to purify and cleanse the air. Working at home in the mornings has brought new and uplifting energy as I fill my house with the different comforting smells. It's interesting that a scent can invoke an emotion before we're aware of it. So when I paint with essential oils, I'm pouring five to six drops of my favorite oils. And sometimes I mix the different ones together, creating the right mood and the atmosphere for the painting. It's a process where I also rub them into my hands and onto the painting itself. Um, they're slowly evaporating into the painting and the environment generally. Essential oils pass through the bloodstream in less than 60 seconds and they attach themselves to the limbic lobe of the brain. This is the emotional control center. So a scent can evoke an emotion before we are aware of it. And many of my drawings are coincidentally titled the same as the oils such as belief, joy, abundance, clarity. So the start of a new painting is sometimes based around a drawing and the title of the drawing, for example, believe. So I'm thinking what the word believe means for me while I'm painting. What color is believe? What is its nature? What does it actually mean visually? These ideas have come from hours of drawing the word and using the essential oil called believe. So each painting is a continuation of the last painting. It's an ongoing story, ever evolving and expanding as we are in our everyday lives. Each painting is different because each day is. There is a no real concrete idea of the finished image, but more of a feeling derived from the present moment, each color dictating the next and each mark building the image. So Believe is a mixture of Idaho Blue Spruce and Ilang Ilang from the Young Living Farm in Ecuador. It, this has a pleasing aroma that is both grounding and invigorating. This blend contains Idaho balsam fir and frankincense essential oils that can encourage feelings of strength and faith. Young Living suggests that with other complementary oils, this combination is a blend that helps assist us move to a higher level of awareness. So as you are able to move past emotional setbacks and barriers, the oil will, will help you to reach your true unlimited potential.
Some paintings take weeks, but some take months. I love working with oils because they don't dry immediately and this allows for the perfect blend of colors. When I can't do any more to the painting, I know it's finished. Also, when I travelled in India, I found the atmosphere soothing and the colours warm, vivid, but never aggressive. This experience has been and is a profound influence in my work, and I'm always reaching back and relating to, to this experience. So blurring the colours and not having sharp edges is important because it's supposed to be dreamy, it's supposed to be peaceful and never ending. In dream and daydreams we don't really experience any sharp edges. The colours are muted and often just floating. There are never any accidents as I can always rub them out and start again. I like to hint at ideas but never really getting to the point. This is why I also love the delicacy of the Japanese garden and many of the essential oils are subtle reminders of the gentleness of nature. I was really lucky to find and work experimentally with 10 karat gold leaf. Over the years I've been given a lot of it. 
It's not easy to work with as it is literally gold, super fine and flowy, but has amazing effects in the paintings, especially with the ethereal atmospheres I'm trying to create in my work. Gold also carries an invisible energy that attracts positive and powerful associations. Also working with 10 karat natural gemstone diamonds is an added bonus. Again, quite tricky to incorporate in the oils as it's so delicate. The diamonds are difficult to photograph and can really only be appreciated in the sunlight or when lit up. I use the diamonds like dust at the end of the paintings, highlighting rainbows, stars and magic carpets. Small epiphanies at the silent heart of things. The soothing light of the word in the verdant garden. Calming colours in the warm domain of dreaming. These items extinguish the dark realms of sadness. Essential oils soften the pain of existence. Love's indescribable magic is rekindled. Beauty's splendid roses dazzle the senses. The sweet flowers of longing will never dwindle.